Hello, this is Eric Walmsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Coming at you today with a video on Nutanix X-Ray, our free benchmarking tool that works not just on Nutanix, but other products as well, such as VMware, three tier, and other hyperconverged uh, tool sets out there. I'm gonna be playing with it obviously on a Nutanix environment, but I wanted to show everybody how to actually get it going and how to run a test. First step is obviously to download it. So just from the home screen, go to downloads, select X-Ray. From here, depending on what hypervisor you're running, you want to select the appropriate download link. You can also run this on something like VirtualBox or VMware Workstation on your local laptop because the actual processing does not happen on the X-Ray VM. It'll actually happen on worker VMs that it deploys. So if you're gonna run it on workstation on your local system, you'll wanna download the ESXi image. I'm running on Nutanix AOS 5.19 with AHV. So I'm gonna download this button or this, uh, this image here. Once your download is complete, you'll want to go ahead and do the process to upload that image to your environment. Obviously, if you're running workstation, you would just open it locally. If you're gonna upload it to VMware, to upload the OVA and follow the process to deploy a new VM from an OVA. From Hyper-V, um, I guess you're kind of on your own. I don't even know how to use Hyper-V anymore. So uh, follow the user guide, please. And then if you're on AHV, you want to upload the QCOW. I'm going to do that real quick because I do have a Nutanix environment that we're running on. If we hop on over to Prism Element, go to the gear icon, select image configuration, select upload image, give it a name it is a disk type select your storage container and then select your image file so here's our qcal file right here so select that and hit open and hit save and then go ahead and let this process complete then once that's complete you need to make sure that you have a virtual network to put your vms on the network does need to have either DHCP or IPAM. Depending on which test you do, you're going to need more IPs. You typically, like if you're doing a four corners, you'll need one IP address for X-ray and then one additional IP per node that you have in your cluster. So a six node cluster would need seven IPs because you have six tester VMs and one for X-ray. I already have this network. Go ahead and go through the process of creating a network and to either create a new one temporarily or a permanent one for your environment, obviously make sure to use the correct VLAN ID that is appropriate for your environment. And then if you don't have DHCP, you can always use Nutanix's IP address management. So fill out the IPAM information here. It'll actually dole out IPs for you. And since you're just doing this for performance testing, shouldn't be a big deal. Just make sure to follow all appropriate procedures and approvals for your environment, please. Then go to virtual machines and we'll make our X-ray VM. Just hit create on the top right. Give it a name. It does not require a lot of resources. Two CPUs and four gigs of RAM is totally fine. Do add new disk. Change the operation to clone from image service and then select your x-ray disk image. Hit add. Then you need to add a network adapter and then add it to whichever network you have that has DHCP or IPAM. Hit add. And we're good there. Hit save. Then your VM is right here. Go ahead and power it on. While we're waiting for this to get an IP address from DHCP, one thing to note is if you're gonna be running performance testing in your environment, I would typically recommend you don't run X-Ray on production environments that have workloads already running. Or if you're running it in like dev test QA, that would probably be okay, assuming you're all right with performance impact to your existing applications because X-Ray will go full bore, try to consume everything, especially if you're gonna run four corners like we're going to here shortly. So you definitely don't wanna run four corners on your existing 
12 node cluster that's running exchange and all your other stuff that is mission critical because you most likely will have performance problems while you are running the performance test. So please run it on a clean environment or an environment where all your VMs are powered off. You'll see X-Ray now has an IP address. You actually manage X-Ray just like everything else in Nutanix through an HTML5 console. So we're going to copy that IP and go to it in a new tab in our web browser. Make sure you go to HTTP and then the IP address of your X-Ray. If you're using DNS, that's totally fine. Type that out, press enter. It is a self-signed certificate. So obviously we need to accept that, please. This first window that pops up is asking you to set a password to encrypt the credentials that you will be storing in X-Ray because X-Ray has to connect to your cluster or clusters we want to make sure that you don't input your admin account information and somebody else can just hop in and steal your login credentials. So this is basically a password encryption key for your credentials that you'll be putting in. This is not an existing password. You are creating a new password. So please input that password and hit enter. Read the EULA and agree to it. If you're okay with sending sample data, hit accept, otherwise decline. And this is the home screen of X-Ray. These are all the predefined simulations you can run, uh, such as throughput scalability. My favorite, which we're gonna run here is the four corners. You can see there's other simulators such as VDI. You can do tests to see what happens when you clone VMs or do snapshots. You can also simulate failures of your nodes and hosts and other things like that. You can also create your own workflows. I'm not going to get into that here. We're just going to be running a four corners. To get started, we first need to go to the top and select targets so that we can define your cluster that you're going to test. Do add target. Give it a name that is meaningful for your environment. See here, you have several different options. So if you're running a Nutanix environment, a VMware environment, or a Hyper-V environment, again, these do not have to be hyper-converged and they do not have to be Nutanix. So this could be three tier or even just standalone hardware, but you do have to connect to either vCenter or System Center Virtual Machine Manager. My environment is obviously Nutanix, so I'm gonna select Prism. If you wanna do any failure scenarios where it powers on, reboots your hosts and nodes, you would input the information in your power management config. Notice that it has several different vendors available here. If you're not gonna do any such like I'm not going to, you can hit none and you will not have to input any of the out of band management information. But what you do need to put in is your configuration for your cluster. So go ahead and fill that in and hit next. It will communicate with your cluster to get some details. Select the storage container and network that you want X-Ray to use when it's deploying VMs. Mine's pretty simple. I'm gonna do default and my server network. Then hit next. Verify your node configuration, or if you need to manually add some nodes, you can do that up here. Mine looks good. I've got a four node cluster. From here, you can run a validation test where it goes and just makes sure that all the configuration items that you gave it are accurate and that it knows that it can create your VMs for testing and all that good stuff. I'm a cowboy, so I'm going to skip it and just hit done. Okay, now for the fun part. Go to tests and select the test that you want to run. And I'm gonna run the four corners but for any of the others that uh, you might be interested in, you just select view and run test. And basically on the left side, it gives you information about what the test is doing. For example, the four corners is just a quick, crazy, all out, full bore, read and write test where it does random and sequential for both reads and writes. I like to do it because it gives you a good, just baseline indicator of what your cluster is doing and just make sure that there's nothing wrong with your network or storage devices or anything like that. And on the right side of the screen here is where you actually configure your test. So for me, I've just got this one cluster. So I'm gonna say, I want you to run this on that one cluster. 
and we're just going to take the defaults. If you want, you can select different data stores, or for each of the tests that it's running, you can say that you want to maybe run it for five minutes instead of for one. But again, I'm just going to select the defaults. It gives you an estimated time of completion down at the bottom. So for this test on my environment, it's going to be about 20 minutes. So I'm going to hit run test and just let that go. And then it brings you, if you go to uh, results, you know, it shows you all of your uh, tests that you have, either that are in queue running or have already ran. Since I've just kicked this off, we'll go ahead and select this guy here. And you'll see up at the top, it's giving us details of what it's actually doing. It's currently preparing the, the test because it has to clone out the VM. If we go back to Prism, we can actually see there is the processes running. It's uh, uploading the, the disk image right now. So we'll let that run and we'll check in through a couple different steps of this process just so we can see what's going on. I can see from the status that it's actually moving to power on VMs. If we go back to Prism Element, you can see it has automatically copied over that golden image and it has cloned out some of the test VMs for this X-ray test. Okay, it's moved on to actually running the test. It's done all the pre-fill and preparedness work. Let's go check out Prism. Inside Prism, our VMs looks like they're going pretty hardcore. You can look down at the disks and see that it's spread across a lot of different disks. My favorite is I always like looking at the IOmetrics and you can see what's going on here. So right now we're definitely doing uh, random reads and uh, a mixture of random reads and writes and a mixture of cache and the uh, SSD tier. And if we go back to the home screen, we can see this bad boy is peaking up close to 600,000 IOPS and uh, four and two thirds gigabytes per second. Pretty good for a little home lab here. Once all the tests are complete, it's going to go through the teardown process. You can see it's very quick. And you go back to the VMs, it's going to start turning them off and delete them. And you just let that bad boy finish up. And once it's done, you can just hit got it. Back in X-Ray, just go back to results. And then just click on your test you'll see that it actually gives you a couple graphs over each of the tests that we did for four corners, right? So my cluster, while it is five years old and running on uh, some off the shelf stuff, it's getting pretty good IOPS. You know, it shows you the sequential, uh, sorry, it shows you the throughput for reads. And I just want to point out that this is gigabytes, not gigabits per second. So if you want to convert that to gigabits a second, multiply this by eight. So, you know, you're getting 90 gigabits a second throughput on these reads. God bless Nutanix CVM architecture. And then here's random and here's sequential write IO throughput. You see the generate report button is available. Let's go ahead and hit that. And here is a PDF option available. You can hit the print button to save it. And it just does this so that you can export it and save it in a safe location for use later down the road. It just lets you know what test you ran, what metric reporting you got, and all that good fun stuff. And just as a disclaimer, the results here are not official. My environment is quite literally base and it's running on some really poor networking switches and it's on old gear. So your results may differ. I took the liberty of running a second test and just wanted to show you all another option available to you. When you're in results, go to all results, and then you can check two different, or even more than that, uh, results that you ran and hit create comparison. And it'll actually overlay your graphs and tell you about your environments, right? So I still did the same cluster, but you can compare two different clusters. So maybe a hybrid with an all flash or an all flash with an NVMe. Or if you make a change to your cluster and go from maybe like active passive to um, LACP, or if you're trying to enable RDMA and see the difference there from using that versus regular uh, 25 gig or 10 gig or whatever. So just in my environment, I, I made some changes in the back end just to get some differences. And you can see over 
time, just that I got different results, right? And it even is nice enough to let you know that this one that's slower, uh, or sorry, the one that's better is 20, 27%, 25% better, you know, than the, the slower one. And then same thing with the, the other result sets. So it's nice because you can go and run multiple tests when you're trying to baseline your environment, do some troubleshooting, or just get the best results from your environment is you can go through and, and overlay them like, okay, quick review. X-Ray is a free Nutanix benchmarking tool. It runs on any of the three major hypervisors, which would of course be Nutanix's AHV, VMware ESXi, or Microsoft Hyper-V. The underlying hardware does not matter. So even though you might be running Nutanix, it doesn't matter if you're running on Supermicro, Intel, HP, Cisco, Dell, etc. Same thing goes for the VMware or Hyper-V. This can be three tier, it can be physical servers, or it could be some sort of hyperconverged, whether that's Nutanix or non-Nutanix, you can do that. Number two is in your cluster, please do not run X-Ray, especially something like four corners or high throughput testing on a production cluster that has active workloads. This is a fresh brand new cluster. You'll notice I just have a template and my X-Ray VM. It is okay to run your X-Ray VM because its requirements are so low on the cluster that you're running X-Ray. You do not have to run the X-Ray VM on the cluster that you're running the X-Ray tests on. You can run it from say a laptop, you can run it from a standalone cluster that's not related to the one you're testing, or again, on the one that you're running. Just don't run it where you're running Exchange and SQL and, and all your other stuff for prod because you don't wanna bring your business down when you're doing benchmark testing. Number three is make sure you download the appropriate version for where you are running x-ray not where you're running the tests just where you're running x-ray itself so if you have a vmware environment that you want to run x-ray from but you're actually benchmarking a nutanix environment you would download the esxi bits install it on your vmware environment then when you go to x-ray that's when you configure your target and say hey it's nutanix right so it doesn't matter where your testing is going it's your download for where you're running x-ray itself and for number four, have fun with it, right? There's tons of different benchmarks. You can also make your own, or even the ones that are here, you can ch make changes to them. Uh, like example I gave earlier was, I sometimes like to run four corners for actually five minutes instead of just the normal uh, 60 seconds. So you can go in and, and change that. Uh, the other one that a lot of people like to run is the VDI simulator, where you get to say the number of users and what type of uh, uh, users you actually have. So are they power users and I have a thousand users. And you, that way you can test what the rollout would look like for your VDI environment before you even do it. Feel free to use this tool as you see fit in your environment. Have fun with it. Uh, QA your environments or get benchmarks before you throw things out in production. Or just, you know, see how you can do bake-offs as well, right? So you can do four corners or VDI simulator with different hardware, with different hypervisors, and just see how things uh, get impacted. It's also really cool to see stuff like snapshots and cloning or even failures from the hardware, how that impacts your environment. And Nutanix X-Ray makes that very easy. I hope this was helpful. Good luck with your testing and have a good one. Thank you for watching.